Hey guys, Basil here again, bringing you next episode in my Portsmouth series, the hardest one year challenge. So this is going to be like the pre-season review, what I've done, how my friendlies went and all of that. So without further ado, let's get on to the transfers in and out. So um, in terms of staff, obviously the manager left, uh, the old manager and some scouts physio, I mean, just trying to make sure that we have, can stay under the wage budget because we're really, really bad on funds. Only one player went out and nobody in because we couldn't sign anybody. Tal Ben Aim was on 36,000 out of our 58 a week, uh, a month, a week, a week, yeah, so I had to get rid of him and uh, didn't see a penny of that money either. So there's my friendly results, 5-1 to beat Portsmouth, lost 7-1 to West Ham, beat Haven and Waterlooville 2-0, then three losses in a row, all heavy defeats, Crystal Palace, Bristol City and Billy Mina United, and then we rounded it out with a 3-0 win over Rochdale. I'm really not happy with how it went, I shouldn't have lost to Bally Mina, I didn't actually take control of any of them, I left it to my assistant, which I usually do, but i um, still not pleased. There's the 5-1 win over reserves, obviously if our first team is so bad the reserves aren't going to be much better. We beat them 5-1, Harris, Benayim, Liam Lawrence and Patrick and, and Tell Me I think it is. Then our you know, heaviest defeat so far is a 7-1 loss to West Ham at home. They're you know, a Premier League team now so I didn't expect to get anything. I didn't expect to lose 7 goals to be fair, that too. But I haven't in Waterville, we managed to beat them 2-0, glad with that. They're not a strong team, I think they are, I'm not sure exactly where they are, but they're very low down in English football, um, they recently made a cup run, and I think they played Liverpool, and it was really close, to scored two goals against them. And here's the Crystal Palace game, uh, one of two 5-0 losses I believe, the next one against Bristol City, um, again, I mean, the stats don't look terrible, but... We just don't have any strikers or anything. Um, and there's the there's the five nil loss to Bristol City. Another disappointment. This one was a bit more domination by them. Uh, but don't expect much from Portsmouth. I think Bristol City are probably. I think they're in the Championship. I'm not entirely sure. Then we lost to Ballymena United. Who are Ballymena United? You tell me. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> Are they like <laughs> Irish or something? I don't know. Could be from Ireland, Wales. I don't. They might be even be England. I don't know. But then I went over Rochdale, a uh, three 0 win, and I'm actually kind of pleased with that because Rochdale, I believe, are League Two, um, and if we can beat them three 0 that might be a good sign of things to come. Hopefully. So after here, I'm going to show you my my two formations. Um, they're four four two, and they will say QPR because I made this for QPR, my QPR team. Um, that I was supposed to be doing a network game with, but it fell through. Um, we'll be doing a different one anyway. So yeah, just it's it's basically a rigid four four two. Um, one's a diamond, one's not. You know, it's, it, I mean, there's not much to explain. The wingers go up, try and cross the ball, in, and somebody tries to get on the end of it. Um, but it's it's th there's my this is my squad, and I just want you to take a look at the ages. If you notice, they're all under 19. I have one player that is professional, that is Liam Lawrence, who is without a doubt going to be my key player this season. There's his stats there. Um, he's, he's actually a really good player. He could fit into any championship team, I think, and possibly even rotation at some premiership teams. You know, you see that high passing, high penalty taking, high corners, good influence. He's... He's going to be my captain, obviously. Um, he's on 20 grand a week, which is over a third of my entire weekly wages. Um, good mental stats and overall good physical stats. He's just a good player. Um, not really defending, though, marking and stuff. So, you'll remember I didn't have a keeper. This is my solution. One of the new gens, the grade out players that I had. I offered him a contract, and that is my best player. He is not out of place in a League 2 side, I would say. And here's our fixtures for next month. We got Brentford, Swindon, Crewe, Notts County, and Crawley. So they're not terribly hard games. The home games are the ones I'm looking to win. If I can win all my home games, I think it can be safe. Um, but I think that, that's going to be about it for me. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, if you want to see anything in particular, I, I just leave it in the comments. Tell me how you think I'm doing. Ninety pounds a week. That's what I'm on. Anyway. 
I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy this and, of course, goodbye.